this lesson, we are going to talk about the planar motion of rigid body. In general, there are three types of planar motion of rigid body. The first one is known as translation. There are two types of translation. The first one is called rectilinear translation where the motion of the rigid body is in a straight line and you can see for translation if there are two points on the rigid body like this let's say we call this point A and this one is point B and as you see as this rigid body travels or translates from this position to this position, the path of point A and point B, the path remains parallel. And for rectilinear translation, this means that the path is a straight line. In the case of curvilinear translation, you notice that the path still remains parallel but the path is now is not a straight line but is it is a curved path the, so the difference between these two types of translation is that the this one has a straight line path and the curvilinear translation has a curved path but still the path of motion remains parallel throughout the motion of the rigid body and in this case if you measure the distance for example here is also point A and here is point B if you measure the distance here and if you measure the distance over here for example it should be the same the distance should be the same which means that the path remains parallel throughout the motion that is the translation motion so this this is the first type of uh, planar motion of rigid body which is translation now the second type of rigid body planar motion is called rotation about a fixed axis okay this is the second type of a planar motion of rigid body which is called the rotation about a fixed axis in this case you see that the rigid body now rotates rotates and it is called rotation about a fixed axis because the rigid body is now rotating about an axis and if you notice this is the axis of rotation so this rigid body here basically rotates about this axis of rotation so it is rotating about uh, this straight line here the axis of rotation and this is known as the rotation about a fixed axis that is the second uh, type of rigid body planar motion now we go to the third type of rigid body planar motion the third type of rigid body planar motion is basically the combination of translation and also rotation so, and there is a specific terms for this and it is called as the general plane motion so this is called the general plane motion and if you notice let's say this is point a and this is point b on the rigid body now throughout the motion the path is no longer parallel at every time which means that the rigid body does rotate during the motion and it also translate during the motion so this is point a and point b if it 
if the rigid body is not translating then it would be it would stay it would remain at this particular position but in this case the rigid body has traveled from here from here to here so there is a translation involved and there is also rotation involved so translation plus rotation that makes the third type of uh, rigid body planar motion which is called the general plane motion so altogether there are three types of rigid body planar motion translational motion which can be divided into two types of translational motion one is rectilinear translation where the path of motion is straight line the second type of translation is called curvy linear translation where the path now is in the form of a curved but still the path of these two points remains parallel throughout the motion the second type of rigid body planar motion is rotation about a fixed axis now there is a uh, there is an axis here where the rigid body rotates about this axis and finally the third type of rigid body planar motion is the combination of translation and rotation about a fixed axis and this is known as the general plane motion let's take a look at this um, rigid body motion and try to identify what is the type of motion of uh, every single rigid body that appears here so let's look at this part here first this arm here it actually rotates so basically the motion of this arm is like this it rotates about this point this is the center of rotation and so does this disc here circular disc here is also rotating so having a motion like this about this center of rotation so this is the center of rotation of the disc and this is the center of rotation of this this small arm here so from here we can identify the type of motion of these two rigid bodies is indeed the rotation about a fixed axis let's look at this part here this um, rigid body here will be traveling back and forth due to the motion of this this two rotation here so basically the motion of this rigid body is is going to be back and forth like this but only on a, on one axis and therefore we know that the motion of this rigid body is translational motion and to be specific because its motion does not involve a curvy linear path so this is basically a rectilinear translation what about this part here this arm here since uh, the length of this um, circle that this rigid body will make during the motion and also the length uh, the radius of this disc is the same it is r here and also r here and this is also r the radius of this disc and therefore the motion of this uh, of this arm here will also be a translational motion but this is a curvy linear translation where the path of uh, the motion is is a circle is a, is a circular path and finally let's look at this final arm here because this part is also connected to this arm and this part is also connected to this arm so basically this arm here is connected to both um, translational motion and also rotation motion so this arm here will actually undergo 
both translation and also rotation. So this will be the combination of the two, which is called the general plane motion. Let's take a look at translation. Okay. Now, suppose that we have this rigid body here, which is traveling from left to right, um, where the path of motion is parallel between these two points. Therefore, we know that this rigid body is undergoing rectilinear translation. If we draw the velocity vector, this will be VA, and this one will be VB. In order for this rigid body to have a rectilinear translation, VA must be equal to VB. So in a translational motion, uh, the velocity of point A must be equal to the velocity of point B in order for this rigid body not to rotate. If, let's say, VB is larger than VA, then this, this rigid body will rotate. And since VA is equal to VB, so does the acceleration of these two points. So AA will also be equal to AB in the case of translational motion. Let's say we have this rigid body like this. Okay, and on this rigid body, we have point A over here. We also have point B over here. So you remember from our previous lesson that we can draw a position vector from point A pointing to B. So now point A is the reference point. Point B is the point of interest. So how do we write this um, position vector? So this is equal to RB slash A, which means that RB with respect to point A. And now point A is called as the origin of the translating coordinate system. So if we draw the coordinate system and we can draw the y-axis here I'm going to name this as y prime to indicate that this is the translating coordinate system and we also have this x prime axis here and this is the translating coordinate system and of course we need to have one uh, fixed coordinate system. So in this case, let this be our fixed coordinate system and I'm going to call this as Y and this will be the X axis. This will be our fixed coordinate system. We can also draw the position vector with respect to the fixed coordinate system. So here we can draw a position vector of point A like this and this will be called R of A or if we want to call this as point O we can also write this as RA slash O, but normally we just write it as RA. We can also draw the position vector of point B from the fixed coordinate system. So this, we write this as RB. So in the end, we can write the equation for the position vector RB is equal to RA 
plus R B slash A. This follows the vector triangle that we have just drawn. So this is R B and we have this is R A and this one is R B slash A. So we have here point A, we have here point A, we have here point B, and this is R B, this is R A, and this is R B slash A. And this is the origin of the fixed coordinate system. So altogether for translational motion, we can write this three uh, equations that RB is equal to RA plus RB slash A. And then we have VA is equal to VB. And we also have AA is equal to AB. So these are the things that we can summarize from translational motion.